It's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. It's life with no vision. Life without oh. no vision. Yeah. Be rising up now. Oh. It ain't no limits, not even the sky. It's just the beginning, what's life with no vision? Believe I can fly. Don't believe in descending, believe no most high. It's giving me wings. Hey guys, this is your host, La Chocolate Box. Once again, we're here at the fifth anniversary of the Urban Action Showcase and Expo. And this year, we are celebrating none other than the 40th anniversary of the five deadly venoms with Mr. Lu Fung himself. Venom number one, you are from, is it Hong Kong or Japan? Taiwan. He's from Taiwan. Taiwan. Oh my goodness. Okay, so 40 years. 40 years is such an amazing, oh God, feat. And you have so many fans out there. What is the one thing that you would tell fans about this amazing movie when you filmed it so many years ago that brought you joy? English? Um, well, yeah. <laughs> we discussed this yesterday. He's very thankful for all the fans. He's actually in shock and can't believe that it's still famous. He can't believe all these people are here to see him. So it's a very shock to him. Mr. Fung, I personally own those movies. I've been watching them. Well, I hate to tell my age, but I've been watching them all these years. And I am super fan. I mean, I, I absolutely, I. you have no idea how excited I am to stand here next to you. I tell my kids about him. I, I literally tried to force feed the movies on them when they were growing up and I still have them. I own several copies of them. So, you know, it, when you have a fan that, that takes it from VHS to DVD and you keep buying, it's an amazing. So I, I, I gotta tell, I have to shake your hand. Thank you so much. It was such an honor standing here with you. So, okay, Mr. Fung, where can we find him on social media? Like, if, if you are a fan. On Facebook, Luther Chu is his page. Y'all can um, definitely find it. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you once again. This is your host, La Chocolate Box, and we'll be right back. We're here at the... Hey guys, this is La Chocolate Box here at the 5th Anniversary Urban Action Showcase and Expo and we're here at AMC Theaters in Times Square, New York. And what, we're, what we did today is we celebrated the 40th anniversary of the cult classic Five Deadly Venoms with Mr. Lu Fong here standing right next to me who was Venom number one and you know what, it was such an amazing thing to see all of the fans, the super fans, come out and watch this movie as a collective. <laughs> so I gotta ask Mr. So fun. How did it feel watching, I guess, everyone enjoy the movie that you so long ago filmed? Very happy and thank you everybody. Oh my goodness, I'm standing here and I'm like, okay, like a complete tears, hot mess. <laughs> this is such an amazing thing to kind of be standing here next to you. Oh my goodness. I have like enjoyed this genre of film for so many years. Like I grew up with five kids in a house and I was the only one. I literally zoned everyone out just to watch these movies in the living room and it's just so amazing to you know you never think you're ever going to meet someone that you idealize but for someone like me to idealize you i'm trying to tell you it's just amazing and i'm just brought to tears right now i really am it was such an amazing thing i'm sorry <laughs> oh my god i'm such a hot mess but that's what a chocolate box means it means sweetly pretty and overly sentimental i just have one other question do you have any other projects going on where it's going to bring you back to that realm of old school kung fu? Uh, there's talks of them doing uh, him doing another movie, but he's still not certain 100% for sure yet. 
but he doesn't know yet, so okay. we'll see. Mr. Fong, it's been our honor to host you and bring you out to this monumental celebration. We love you. We love you then. We'll love you for years to come, and we will definitely look forward to seeing more of your projects, whether you're writing, producing, directing, or acting. Yeah. So we will definitely look forward to seeing that soon. Once again, this is your girl, La Chocolate Box. <laughs> We're here at Urban Action Showcase is celebrating its fifth year anniversary with the 40th anniversary of Five Deadly Venoms. We'll be right back. So there were three choreographers, him and Zhang Sheng and Kuo Chu. And so, um, so there was no really one choreographer, it was just mainly them three, but whatever came out and looked the best, they just choreographed whatever looked good. And did you did you have a script or did you make it up or both? Uh, 有一个明天跟我们的导演，然后我们自己之间也要决定，就说明天我要拍摄的，或者我这场戏要拍摄的，我们要设计出什么样子的东西，让观众看到，然后最后张导说OK，我们就照做。那基本上的原则是这样子。
Sun Chen, Wei Pai, and uh, Lo Ma. Yeah, yeah they're, they were the whole cult. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so Sun Chen from Taiwan. Taiwan <laughs> yeah. Lo Ma. Yeah, the Chang Shui culture, the Taiwan boys. Yeah. 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 And then when did you when did you all get together? Uh, okay, so when Chang Shui returned to Hong Kong is when they started working together. And what kind of how many films did you make in Taiwan before you went to Hong Kong? Seven? Seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six, seven, I think. Same sort of movies? Yeah. Yeah. Again. In, 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 so when they were in Taiwan, they weren't actors yet, they were stuntmen still. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. So when did you, and you became actors when you went to Hong Kong? Uh -huh. oh. Hong Kong, Hong Kong. role, yeah, okay. So at that time in Taiwan, there were still stuntmen that had small roles only. But it was when Chang Che brought them to Hong Kong was when they became actors, had starring roles. Yeah. Did you special in Taiwan opera? Did you specialize in a particular kind of part? Know, or did you do many different parts in, in picking up? Uh, in a, in a, in a brown, I, I played the, the pending face, you know, like like the, the mask of the, the, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. painted face. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, <coughs> so you learned all the different weapons, yeah. like spear and uh, stick. I knew between and all of us we would get this. Big oh, the hell, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So, so I think it's called the Guando. Yeah, yeah. Guando. Yeah. Yeah. And when and when you all started together in Hong Kong, was it was the decision made that you would always be the villain, or did sometimes did you want to be the hero, or you didn't care? I don't care. You don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Did all of you work that out? Who would play what? Or did Chang Che say, you villain, you cute, you muscles, you Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zhang Che decided everything. He decided everything. Yeah. And what was the first one? Was that Venom? Was that this movie? Or you weren't here for this movie? Okay. What was, do you remember what the first movie was? The first one with all of you? Uh, all of us? Yes. Udu, uh, yeah, five, it was five It was five venoms. He was in movies before five venoms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was a bad guy also. Oh, he was also a bad guy. Chinatown yeah, Kid, yeah. I remember Chinatown Kid. Oh, yeah, Chinatown yeah, yeah. Kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Heaven Hell. Yeah. I'm Vega. Vega. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Always. Always. <laughs> All the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me just throw it real fast. Oh, please. Little known fact is that he also appeared in um, the one Ta Ta Liang, uh, Countdown in Kung Fu, also called Hand of Death. In the very beginning of the movie, there's a scene where James Tian and his guys go in and beat up all the lots of Shaolin guys. One of them is Luke Peng. Was Joe, uh, John Wu? Yeah, yeah, John Wu, Jackie Chan, Sam Mahon, yeah. Cat Tell Lang, James Tian. Oh, remember that movie? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Did you <laughs> tell me? I know. That time I was still a stuntman. Yeah, at that time you were still a stuntman. Yeah. I was still a stuntman, but still villain. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that guy. So, you made many of these movies very quickly, yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, did you, did you, how did you work out the action? When, was it was it the three Taiwanese boys who, who did the choreography? Yeah. Yeah. And Lo Long and Sun Chen just did what? Yeah. 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 And when you did the choreography, was it equal or was 
portray a little bit more. Who was there a boss of the choreographer? Uh, <coughs> uh, uh, this, this is what we need to see. We don't want to say that we want to show some people to show, not show some people to show, but to show the real thing. That's because we first talk about. 就是我们因为根据剧情来决定谁的会比较多一些。Okay, I can't understand. I can help if you need to. Ah, because you always put it on the bad guy. Because I'm mainly mostly the bad guy. So, they three good people, or four good people, three good people, I'll beat one. So, my chance will be more than them. They all beat me. 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 打我的时候，我每一次都有机会。Okay, so because he was the bad guy, he would take four or five guys to kill him, to all gang up on him. So they would each throw one puncher, but he would have lots of chances to like shine, and like he would have one punch at all of them, like four punches to their each of them one. So he had more opportunity to show off. And was that the main difference between their choreography and your choreography? Did you both come at it in different styles? Like you would come at in a in a villainous style of kung fu, while Coach Wee might uh, choreograph a heroic style of kung fu. Hmm. <coughs> 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 那首先是要好看， okay. 是最重要的。Uh, yeah, yeah. So there were three choreographers, him and Chang Shen and Huo Chu, and so um. So we are just going to follow the scene, not to be too special, to show one person. But the important thing is that the action is good. So there was no really one choreographer, it was just mainly them three, but whatever came out and looked the best, they just choreographed whatever looked good. And did you did you have a script or did you make it up or both? Uh woman Zai Paisa Zichen Do They would have a meeting the day before and figure out what they were going to do the next day. And then they would have to wait for Chang Che to say okay first before they start filming. And did you all live at the Shaw Brothers studio? You all live yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They gave us a Okay, so yeah, they had dormitories at the Shaw Brothers studio, so they always bumped into each other all the time. And did you work? And you worked out. Uh, when, when did you work? Because I know they had three eight-hour shifts. So you worked from what time to what time? Okay, so Chang Che would come into work late, so they would start around one in the afternoon and go all the way till eleven at night. Ah, yeah. Did Chang Che direct you a lot? Or did he just set up the camera and film? Did he direct you? Did he tell you to change things? You can say that because Zhang Che director has a certain direction, the details are the details. But the final decision is made by him. That's what I'm saying. So Chang Che was like the main, the big director, the main director. And they would do the choreograph like the smaller, the smaller scenes and smaller directors. But then they would always need the approval of Chang Chang to whatever they did. Finally, yeah. how how fast did you work? I mean, how many how many shots do you think about did you do a day over from one to eleven? You have to look at the work schedule. The work schedule, if you have a scene. 
它通常一部电影大概三个月到五个月。So it depends. Like if it was a dialogue scene, it would be pretty fast. But if it was a fighting scene, it was took a lot of, like, longer. Yeah. But it would take about three months total to do a whole movie. Really, three months? Oh, three months. Wow. I always got the impression it would happen much faster than that. But no, three, four months. Wow. And then you would go right on to the next movie, or did you have a break? No break. No break. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, do you remember how many movies you did? In what is it, three, four years, maybe five years? Because this was what? When, when did you start? Was it uh, late 70s? Yeah. 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 And then the Shaw Brothers stopped their uh, film units in '85. Yeah. yeah. And you worked all the way through? No, no. I went to Taiwan. Oh, you went. When did you go back to Taiwan? Yeah, yeah. Uh, after the Shaw Brothers. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you remember? Um, how many movies in, like you did? Well, how many? I'm trying to remember how many movies you did. Remember, since you wanted to do twelve, <laughs> twelve, whatever, huh? More than twelve. Yeah, All in Hong Kong. Well, you did. Maybe. No, <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> about fifteen, where he was like one of the five Venom guys. Right. I'm not counting before the five Venoms. He was on yeah, yeah. bit roles, and then after the shop of because I know he did some more too. Yeah. Were you happy? Were you happy to do all those movies, or did you get bored? Was it always the same thing? Hey, okay, so I know. I think I enjoy it. I enjoy it. But because at that time I was very young, so I just wanted to do it. I didn't think about the pain. At that time he was young, so he didn't really. He thought of more of just getting the job done, not really thinking too much of whether it was like a lot of work or not. Right. Did you have a favorite movie? You saw, you get, you get to you. You mean, you mean? So you mean? Then I made the film. He said I, I like the film. So you like the film? Is it all of my film? Okay. So he said means one of his movies that he was in, or any movie? Any movie. Both. Both. Okay. Both. Yeah. 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 Your film and all of your films. My film, I like the film. Probably the Legend of the Fox. Legend of the Fox. Yeah, 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 Actor or teacher? Both. Actor, favorite martial art actor, also favorite martial art teacher. How do you say so? Wow, so cool, man. Very good. Just me, me, wait. Oh yeah, I know. I understand. First, first question. 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 First, first
and they worked, they were about the same age, and they worked together really well. Good, good. What style do you practice? Do you practice a different style? Yeah, what school are you taking a bra? What's your ball? I made sure.我觉得应该是时代不一样，那你没有办法在这个中间说什么好，什么不好，哪一个好？重要的是 very important thing 观众要喜欢，他就对了。can't really tell when, whether what's good and what's not good, but the most important thing is that the audience enjoys it. I think that's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. We, can, we can give you a longer answer later. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? Anybody else? We've only got a couple of, of minutes. Uh, yes, Rick. I have a question. In the modern day now that everybody in, in the film industry are making remakes, mm -hmm. would Brother Lou Fang consider remaking mm -hmm. Five Deadly Venoms or... Um, any other the other movies that he's done, we consider that. Would that be a thought? He is the boss. Yeah. He is the boss. Yeah. Um, good did you did you good hear question, my question? question. A good question. Yeah, because because yeah. since there are a lot of movies being remade, yeah. and I was just wondering, would y'all consider that? Uh, we were talking with Lil Mama last year. We were speaking with him this year. Uh, Philip as well, Philip Walk, and um, we're, we're, we're trying to do something. I'll just say it, say it that way. But if we're going to do it, it's not. It can't just be a remake. It has to be something different. Different. Um, so why can't it be a prequel where it, where it all began? Because well, certain yeah, companies that, that own too. certain rights. That's mm -hmm. the problem. So what we would do would be loosely based on that. But they, of course, they would be the elder Venoms, and we would and usher in another the, generation. The, 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 yeah, and that's what there I'm you technology go. in order to That'd handle some of cool. the techniques, yeah. that, you know, filming-wise, as they did nice. previously. Is, is there any chance you'd bring it from yeah. back in the day all the way up to till now? It like, would be done in modern uh, times. It wouldn't be done back then. Okay. That'd be cool. It would be, it would be yeah. smart to try that, you know? So you're get Sometimes like, things are just best left alone. <laughs> you know? It's a, it's a classic. That's why you all are so, uh, True. And not only that, um, we're missing Chang Chan. So, in essence, to remake it without yeah. a critical part of it, it's, it's futile. So, the best thing to do is, we've agreed that we're going to do a different version of it, and they're going to be on board, and I'm going to direct it. Well, yeah. could you? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he'll be in it, Paul Chu will be in it, Paul Wong will be in it. All right, so, we know that more about it. One more point. And they call him the centipede. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to bring up Mr. Lou Fang, along with R4 Films, 
Celestial Films, El Rey. The Samuels. They have all come together to make this happen. Bobby Samuels, Ariel J. Rose, you want to come up too, girl? Celestial Pictures. Well, she's here. Uh, Robert Samuel, and we all give me the chance to come here. Thank you. 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 Thank 谢谢，谢谢。Second after Robert Sanger, Neil Jay, would like to thank all of you guys for letting me be a part of this. Thank you for being here after all these years. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. His name is the Santee. He practiced the Santee style. He was the Santee style. Practice. Speedy move. I'm sorry. 